silly. What up fellow nerds? As you might have seen in the past, we've done some console mods before. And I really wanted to do another one today, but this time I'm taking my beloved Xbox 360 controller and I'm kind of nervous about this because I've never modded a Xbox controller before. It's gonna be fun. The first and probably also the most tedious job is to take the controller apart and sand down the whole surface. I'm using wet sandpaper grit 600 through 2000 to really get that properly smooth. Perfect. Right, so now it's just opening it up. I'm also gonna try to keep all the spare parts safe and sound inside a box, just so I don't lose any screws or anything like that. It's been an hour and a half now, still not done. I usually spend the most time on the first pass of uh, using the sandpaper because that's where you really lay the foundation for the next layers. You might be wondering why I'm doing this and this is because manufactured plastic like this usually has a protective coating on top and that is of course to protect the controller from wear and tear over time but it also means that I have to sand it down before I can do anything with it. So when the protective coating is gone the paint will stick better to the surface and also it will become a lot smoother. I'm finally done with the sanding. It took a lot of time but here it is. Both the parts are really, really smooth now. I think it might look a bit rough on cam, but if you could feel... Oh, hello. Cats. Anyway, if you could feel it, it's super, super smooth. And that means I just have to clean them up a bit with some water, just to get all the dust and everything away from it. And after I wash them, I'll just go over it with some rubbing alcohol to get rid of any fats or anything from the surface and then it's ready for painting which is the fun part I'm kind of torn on what color I should choose because green is my favorite color but it's also the main color of Xbox so it's kind of standard I guess and it's a bit boring decisions I'm thinking blue. Let's go blue. What I'm gonna do first is I'm gonna add a coating of white to make a proper base so that the colors I put on top of that will become really vibrant. I'm thinking of adding maybe a fade between light and dark blue on top of that. Time to turn on the compressor so it's gonna get really loud. And of course, always remember to use protection. I've covered everything in white now, so I have a pretty good base. What I have to do next is try to mix some sort of nice light blue color. I have to try to mix a lot of it because if I run out of it, I might not be able to actually mix the same color twice. Yeah, I'm actually pretty happy with this color. Anyway, now it's time to try to make that spatter effect. So stop, stop. You're going to take someone's eye out. It's 
been 24 hours and it's looking pretty awesome already. What's left to do is to put on a very thin coat of glitter, actually. I'm not really a fan of glitter myself, but in this case it's really going to make it look way better. is done. I'm just going to move everything to the middle of the room on the table here. I'm going to clear coat it over there. This is the final step in the whole painting process. I'm going to cover it pretty heavily with this clear lacquer spray and I'm gonna use more than one coat to just get it evenly and make sure that nothing drips. Of course I'm going to be using a respirator because this is really toxic to breathe in. This type of clear coat usually takes one to two weeks to properly cure. I mean, it's dry to the touch after a couple of hours or so. It's not really ready to be used. I tend to wait one to two weeks before I'm actually sure that everything's properly cured before I start using it. It's been a week and the paint has properly cured, so all that's left to do is to put it back together. If I can remember where to put all the buttons. Whenever I put stuff like this back together, I usually grab a piece of cloth like this, put underneath, just so I'm really sure that I won't get any scratches while putting it back together. See how shiny that is? trial and error I finally got it back into one piece. But it's not entirely done yet because I've ordered a set of white buttons online that will really complete the whole look. If you're interested to see how that turns out make sure to follow us on Instagram where I'll post an update picture in the near future. Making this batter effect was a lot easier than I had originally thought and it doesn't even require any painting skills and it turns out really cool. This is definitely not gonna be my last mod, so let me know in the comments what you want me to mod next time.